guys, Joe for another reviews, and today we got a sneaker review and unboxing of the Adidas Adifon Q. Before we get to this review, guys, if you're new to our channel, remember to hit that subscribe button, hit that notifications bell so you never miss any of the next reviews. Slap that thumbs up, helps us greatly. Drop some love in the comment section below. We try our best to reply to every single comment that's thrown out our way. I just want to take this time and opportunity to thank the subscribers, new and old. Without you guys, I can't do this. So thank you. And let's go. So today we've got a look at the Adidas Adifon Q. We've got this in the grey full colorway, in the UK size seven and a half, it's US eight, and it's a European 41 and a third. So this is the Adifon Q. I can see the direction that Adidas are going with post Yeezy collection over there. I think, I mean, to me, you know, I'm not someone in the industry of Adi, you know, I'm not in the circles of Adidas, but these reminds me, don't they remind you of the Easy Palm runner? Well, that's just me, you know, I'm not sipping tea or anything, but that's what I can see what they're, what has happened, you know, post Kanye, I think they just go with the designs and they just want to, you know, throw out there in the retail space for everyone to try and get. But that's just me. That's all I'm observing. If anyone from Adidas is watching, and we know that you are, let us know in the comment section below. But um, this is my review of the Adifom Q. Very unique in its shape, very unique in its design, even though it's very reminiscent of a certain rapper's collaboration. But I'm not going to go into it. Let's just look at the details now. So. Starting with the outsole, so this outsole, you can see some rubber paneling out there, but you can see the main exposure of the Adifom technology. And then you look at the midsole and the upper. So the upper itself is kind of twofold. So you've got two sections of the sneaker. You have the exoskeleton made out of the Adifom technology, which is foam made out of 50%, well, up to 50% recycled materials. And you've got the sock liner here itself where you put you know, your feet in. I mean, I've seen people take this sock liner out and wear this as a slip like the foam runner, but I'm not gonna do that, I'm not gonna separate it, I'm gonna wear it as it is. And it's in this very neutral gray color. It's known as gray four, I'm not sure why. But you look at the lacing system, so the lacing system goes onto the exoskeleton. It's very lightweight, I must mention, mention that the Adi foam is very lightweight. Like a lot of foam runners or foam technology uh, shoes. And the sock liner itself, is, that's where you're gonna find the cushioning. So apart from the exoskeleton, which is the foam, uh, you have Adi Plus cushioning found in the insole and the midsole of the sock liner and you can get your feet in and obviously with it being a sock liner that's where the support is going to be in the tongue itself so it's the main exposed sock liner and the boot system is kind of like this neoprene elastic to get your feet in very lightweight as i mentioned before you can kind of wear this two ways with the sock liner in and i've seen people take the sock line around where it's a slipper. How about with the, with the holes? I think you're just doing it a disservice by wearing it as a foam slipper. But you do you wear it however you want. I'm gonna wear it with the sock liner in myself. And just before we round up, looking at the back, you've got an Adidas Truffle logo and Adidas lettering. Very, very lightweight, as I mentioned before, because it's Adifog technology. You got all the airflows also right there but I think it's just you know shrouded in a sock liner you're not going to get a lot of that ventilation as it were because I don't think the sock liner seems very well you know covered makes sense very interesting to take this is Adidas post Yeezy line I'm guessing if anyone from Adidas is watching I want to correct us and let us know in the comment section below let us know how you feel about the direction that Agnes is going in post Kanye West because I mean this reminds me of the foam runner I'm not going to sugarcoat it at all this is just what I'm seeing 
it's a lot of people that say that as well. And I'm pretty sure I'm not the only one. Let us know in the comment section below. I'm going to try these on because they're very interesting. Addy Funk Q, try them for you. When it comes to the fit guys, I recommend that you get your true to size Adi fit. When it comes to Adidas, I'm a UK size 8, how would you say UK size 7.5? So it's a bit tight for me. So at the toe area, but yeah, it's very snug. I mean, if I want a snug fit, maybe I've got half a size down, but I think I should have went for a size 8. Because uh, it does feel a bit too tight, but other than that, it's very comfortable. It does feel like I'm wearing a pair of uh, the easy foams though, even when I walk about because you can feel the foam touching the ground first, but that's just myself. Other than that, it's very comfortable, unique tape for Adidas to go on. Thanks guys for watching. Remember to like, comment and subscribe. Follow us at 1UP Reviews on Instagram and on TikTok. Until next time, peace.